What's going on, guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with another manga recommendation. I know it's been a little while since I've done this, but I got one that I finished just a while back, but I, I was looking at it in my uh, in my stack of light novels and manga. Uh, I was like, I never did a video on this, and I got to now. So, what am I talking about today? I am talking about Torture Princess. Now, let me get a few things out the way. Torture Princess is a light novel by nature. It, I think last time I checked, it has currently eight light novels that you can go and purchase. But it also, it only has, it does have a manga, but it only has two volumes. Now, the reason this book is so big is because I bought this. This, was the, this is the only one they had at the Books of Me that I purchased this from. This is both of those uh, manga volumes in one book, but you can buy them separately. But as far as I know, that is it. You only get two manga volumes, and if you want to read the rest of the story, you got to go into the, um, you got to start reading light novel, which is, which is kind of messed up because I don't know how far these two volumes get in the light novel. I don't know if this is like all of like for a volume one or two, or if it's like whatever. But I d just so y'all know, I'm going to leave the link for the two manga volumes in the description below, and I probably I might leave a. a a, a link for the uh, volume one of the light novel but so getting into it what is torture princess torture princess is you know what it's it's one it's a very gory story but it's not gory for like no reason it's not trying to you know just, it's not doing this for shock value um it's not just trying to make you feel uh, sick to your stomach or anything like that uh, everything that this uh, book everything that I've seen in this book so far it goes with the world so we have three main characters our main character our main protagonist of the story is a guy named Kaito now when we meet Kaito it's in a very precarious spot it, it, it honestly shocked me and that's kind of what drew me in even though I just said it's not it's not doing this for shock value but I'm just saying I have not read a manga volume that usually starts off like this. Um, we start off with our main character Kaito being strangled to death by his own father, nonetheless. So um, I don't know what uh, transpired prior to the choking of young Kaito, but um, as we, his father is not a just so you know, his father is not a very good person. Obviously, he's strangling his own child, but no, like his father is like true scum like the worst of the worst um i'm not gonna go too far into what he did because it does get into it in the in the manga and in the uh first volume of the light novel i do know that so i'm, I'm trying my hardest not to do spoilers but kaito ultimately ends up being killed now before his soul has a chance to move on to wherever it's going he gets his soul gets uh summoned by the character on the cover of the book uh, Elizabeth her name is Elizabeth von uh, Formut uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pr uh, mispronouncing, mispronouncing it but I'll have a picture of her up anyway she is the, pretty much the second main protagonist of it she is known as the torture princess no she is the torture princess she is the proud wolf and the lowly sow and she, the one thing I can appreciate about this story the most is one, the narrative, but two, also just like the attitudes of the character. So when Kaito is summoned by um, Elizabeth in the first place, he, he he looks around, he analyzes the situation. He's like, um, "Bro, I don't I don't want no part of this. I'm gonna pass." And and as he looks in the corner, he just sees like a a pile of what used to be a thing or whatever it might have been at the time uh and elizabeth pretty much states like you see that there uh you can either a end up like that thing or b you can be my butler and serve me until it's time for me to die and kaito being a logical person he's like mm, well this i guess that's just the hand i'm dealt with let's <laughs> let's roll with it but he does it very reluctantly he doesn't he does not want to be there and he makes it like abundantly clear but elizabeth she don't care neither she's like look you're gonna help me out what you're gonna help me out regardless so get over it now 
the reason, like I said, the reason Kaito was summoned was so he could be Elizabeth's butler. But the reason she wanted a butler is because she wanted to be comfortable while she is taking on the mission that the church of this world that she lives in has given her. And that mission is she is tasked with to hunt down the 14 barons or demons uh, that have escaped and destroy them and kill them all. And then afterwards, she herself will be burned at the stake all by herself. And she is perfectly fine with this. Now, what I'm about to say is kind of a little bit of a spoiler, but not really. But so, Elizabeth, in her youth, did some very, very terrible things to people. Now, most of the time with isekai anime and all that, whenever you have a character that does something terrible from like their past or whatever, they, the author sometimes will try and spin it in a way to where it's like, yeah, I did bad things, but you know, I don't remember it. Or, or it's like, no, I was like, I thought I did bad things, but in reality, I was just there and I was unable to move or, or something like that. No, that is not the case with Elizabeth at all. Elizabeth Elizabeth is very open about her past and she owns up to it. She's like, yes, I did all that stuff that you have heard about me. It's true. I did it. I'm not, and she does not, she doesn't try to downplay it like, yeah, I did it, but you gotta understand. No, no. She's like, yeah, I did that. What about it? She's like, she's like, I am the torture princess. I torture people. And I, and she said, and by the, before I die, I will be tortured and she's like, that is, that's when you know that the a torturer's life is truly complete when their life ends with them being tortured and their screams being rang out through the land and all that. That's what she believes. She's like, she's pretty much, rem- that kind of reminded me of Lelouch a little bit from Code Geass where Lelouch states like, only, only people, all, the only people that should be allowed to kill are the people who are ready to be killed themselves. And that is pretty much uh, Elizabeth's philosophy in a nutshell. Now, it goes into greater detail on what happened and all that. And I don't want to spoil that. But, yeah. And, and, I, and I appreciate that so much. I love the fact she's like, yeah, I did it. Like, she owns it. Not with, like, like not with, like, uh, proud, not with proudness or cockiness. But she's like, yeah, I did it. There's, there's no changing it. I did what I did. And for that, I deserve to die a terrible death. And she's like, that's the life that I led. And that's how I'm going to go out. And I have no qualms with that. So I respect that the most. Now, Kaito, Kaito himself, he is uh, not cynical. Uh, I can't think of the word for him. But um, he... He's not your typical isekai protagonist either. Because most of the time with isekai, it's like you get summoned into a world where everything's kind of nice. You know, everything, you still see, you still see lush greenery, uh, happy, happy people and all that. And, you know, it's like you have magical powers and you're OP. No, that's not the case. Uh, Kaito was a normal boy when he died and he's pretty much a normal person when he is summoned. Uh, except his soul is now in the flesh golem. And all that, take that as you will. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that that is the sh- that is the manga. But it's also what's also very interesting to me is that you know, most of the time when isekai anime introduce like oh a, like a demon lord or some demons that need to be defeated and all that, um, they 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 beautify them very much. You know, uh, like usually like the main demon lord will be like a guy or a girl that just has like horns, maybe like a tail they usually will like a giant halberd or something no these uh the, the barons in this uh, manga they look like they came straight out of hell like like no cap like they look like <laughs> what a demon is probably supposed to look like and these things are terrifying and i don't mean in just appearance they are terrifying in every aspect uh that you would think in their line of thinking and in the stuff that they do to people book is called torture princess for a reason i don't think it'd be i don't think you'd really call it that if you didn't see some torture uh, going on and trust me there is a bit there's quite a bit it's very very detailed and very graphic and the most surprising thing to uh to me about it is 
I, 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 I liked it. I liked it a lot. And I, I think I like uh, gory manga. I think that is my thing. As far as like reading it online, I don't really care. But physically, if I can get my hands on something like this, this gory, oh, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this, this, this manga is definitely, definitely not for the faint of heart. But honestly, the narrative is really good. It, 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 it doesn't really. I don't want to say it's cliche, but it, it definitely does. The author definitely wrote a good story. If it is a Nobel, is it like whatever the highest accolade you can get for uh, writing a story? I'd probably say not, but it's a very, it is very good. I I would recommend it. If you like gore, you know, actually, if you like a comic got kill and you like a black bullet, uh, then you'll like this definitely. Cause the, actually, cause the, uh, the person who did the character designs for Black Bullet also did the illustrations and stuff in this book, so it do, it definitely does have like that Black Bullet tone and everything. Uh, and also the world that this is set in, it, it reminds me of like the Elizabethan times and all that. It, uh, you see a lot of stone roads and stone buildings and all that, and like they have like a lot of Elizabethan torture devices, like you know Iron Maiden and, and all that stuff. And, you know, like I said, it gets very graphic in here. Um, like this, like before I read this one, I probably said the the goriest thing I had read was uh, Marcia Lago, and I'll leave a uh, card up there for that if you want to watch that uh, manga recommendation video and everything. But yeah, Torture Princess. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes. Now, would I recommend the manga? <sighs> um, I don't. I don't know, mainly not because the manga is not good, but only for the fact that, as of right now, that I know, there, like I said, you only get two volumes. Like I said, this is two volumes in one. You can't buy them separately, but that, that that's it. Uh, I'm I'm still on the fence about buying the light novels, mainly for the fact that it, it takes me so long to finish light novels, and it right now it has eight. I don't know if the ninth one has dropped yet or not, but I. Uh, I'll probably buy it, but I, like I said, you're going to have to make that call for yourself if, if you don't want to, because if the, man, the, the, the manga wraps up, the two volumes that we get, it does wrap up, like, it does say, like, if you want to read on, um, go get the light novels, but I like the way it ended in here, you could almost say it's like a pseudo ending a little bit, like, it's like they still have to continue to do their mission, but, you know, you know, it makes it seem like you can just leave it off there and you'll be okay. Uh, so I like I like I said, I don't know. Um, honestly, probably just get both. Buy volume one of the manga and buy volume one of the light novel. And and if you can continue with the light novel after that, just go on ahead. Because like I said, only two manga volumes. So sad, but what can you do? Uh, but yeah, guys, that is that is Torture Princess. Like I said, I I really wanted to go more in death with it but that would just really be giving away spoilers for it and i i, I don't want to do that to y'all if you are interested in it uh go down below click, click the link and get yourself a volume or try to find it online you know y'all do what you do but guys i hope you have a wonderful day night or evening wherever you're at and do the stuff that i normally tell you to do comment subscribe make sure you hit that like button it really helps me out and with all that being said it's your boy fox